my guys, back from the quick vid. Okay, got an older pipe here, which is exactly the same, which is on the Raven 36. So uh, what we're going to do is start dremeling out. Uh, you bore this whole hole out as much as you possibly can, and also on the inside, you want to get as much as you can off it and uh, get it all nice and smooth. So uh, I've got the Dremel. Let's get it going. You want to get as close as you can to each hole without obviously breaking the hole, but uh, leave a little bit there just for strength. But just bore that each side as far as you can that way, and as far as you can that way, and then you want to bore the inside out as big as possible. You even get also you can make it higher and lower on the bottom as well, but. Uh, it's mainly the, the side bits is what you want to do. But uh because you need this much bigger. So this is an old one, but also you make sure you sand it all back so it's all flat. So we'll keep going and see how we go. So that's it there. That's about as far as you want to go. So you have a look at that side. And then look at that side, there's still plenty more. So just keep boring that that side and that side. So we just keep going. Do the other side. Tip for that side and that side there. Now you've gone as far as you can as you want to on each side. Now you focus on the inside, boring out that inside. <coughs> okay, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there, starting to smooth it all out. Just keep putting your finger in there, make sure everything's smooth. But uh, yeah, the hole's much bigger, and uh, that'll give you more power from your engine. Uh, you get a lot of power, mostly from your pipe. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I've uh, finished boring out the pipe, and uh, all I'm going to do now is I'll give it a quick sand, make sure this is all flat. Like I said, uh, try and get as close as you can to each hole. This one I've gone a bit too far. Look, it doesn't matter, guys, that'll still work. Um, it, you don't have to be professional about it. I'm not, um, but I've been using the Dremel with these for all my pipes, and I do the same thing to all the roving pipes, and I have no issues at all. It, it gives you heaps more power. Because most of your power, in, your most increase in your power is through your pipe. So uh, that's where you're going to see the biggest difference. Um, I've got an old pipe here. So you can see what the difference so that's a stock pipe. Try and bring that up. It's a little bit of difference in the size. Big difference. So that's all we're gonna do with that. I've been uh locking up the build. Just making sure everything goes together the way it's supposed to. I uh, should have another delivery this week. So either tomorrow or the next day, I'm hoping. I'm going to start putting this together. Got all the screws lined up, ready to go. Got me lock tight. And uh, should be a nice build, this one. So also, yeah, I sort of boxed myself in. Got me cars everywhere. And, uh, oh, yeah, I fixed the 5T. Not quite sure what, what the go is because the uh, coil plug kept on coming off. And uh, so I've, I changed the plug and it fits on there fine now and it won't come off. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do next is, yeah, so I'll put the new pipe on the 5T, put new gaskets on it. Once I finish sanding all this back, because you've got to make sure this is, that's the main thing, make sure this is flat. Otherwise, it won't sit on your engine properly. But it's pretty easy to do. Like I said, there's like like a lip inside these roving pipes. Um, the way you know, put your finger through, and you'll feel the lips. Just got to bore them out so it's all nice and smooth in there. The reason the lips are in there is because they weld it on this side. So this whole top piece is welded on the top. So you just get your Dremel and get, get rid of all that. Make sure it's all smooth. Um, so what I'll do is, yeah, put the pipe on it, gaskets. Um, what I might do is, I've got the 1257 carb, which I was going to throw on the 35, which I can always buy another 1257 for the 35. Um, because I'm nowhere near finished the 35 yet. I've got heaps to do to it. Um, so if I throw the 1257 on the 5T and put a 10,000 RPM spring in, because it's got an 8,000 at the moment, I'll throw some bigger fuel lines on it. I reckon she's going to fly. It already goes really well out of the box, but it's just lagging on low end. Oh, yeah, and it goes really well. But uh, you got to experiment to find out things. But, yeah, I haven't used this car before, so it be interesting to see what difference it makes with the 5T. And with the pipe, I know that makes a difference because I've done it to all my cars. Um, but other than that, guys, that's where I'm up to. I'll have a new delivery this week of this. I can start building that. Um, I've got another unboxing up there to do, which I'll do at a later date. I'll let you know later about that. But other than that, guys, um, yeah, I hope you're all doing well, and I'll catch you on the next vid. Also, guys, I almost forgot. So, yeah, this is uh, not port matching. So it's for guys who don't want to rip their head off the engine and uh, port match with that. This is uh, just a quick increase in power. Um, for guys who don't want to do that. Um, also, very importantly, uh, with your when you put your new gasket on, make sure it's, you've cut it to the same size as this port. And, uh, yeah, wear safety glasses or wrap-around glasses and a mask because 
You don't want this metal shit in your eyes. I've had it in my eyes before, and trust me, you don't want that to happen. And uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, guys. Bye.